Good morning. Sorry I'm a little late. And uh, today we've got some good news. Good news about the economy. For the sixth month in a row, inflation has come down. Measured over the last 12 months, it has fallen 6.5 to 6.5%. That's down from 7.1% the month before. It's down from 9.1% this summer. Inflation is now at its lowest level since October of 2021. So the data is clear. Even though inflation is high in major economies around the world, it's coming down in America month after month, giving families some real breathing room. And the big reason is falling gas prices. My administration took action to get oil onto the market and bring down prices. Now gas is down more than $1.70 from its peak. And that adds up to a family with a typical family with two vehicles to a savings of $180 a month, every single month that stays in their pockets instead of being spent at the pump. It all adds up to a real break for consumers, real breathing room for families, and more proof that my economic plan is working. When I came to office almost two years ago, the economy was flat on its back, as you'll all remember. Now, two years in, it's clear, clearer than ever, that my economic plan is actually working. Here's what we've learned just last week. Unemployment is the lowest it's been in 50 years. I'll say that again, the lowest unemployment rate in a half a century. My first two years in office were, were the two strongest years for job growth on record. We're seeing American families breathing a little easier. More Americans have health insurance than they did ever in our history. Fewer families are facing foreclosures today than before the pandemic. And we still have more work to do, though. But we're clearly moving in the right direction. And there are more, there's more breathing room in store for American workers and families.